Um, let's go ahead and do my ad hoc example problem. They're just variants. So you recall that ad hoc example problem 1.1 is this one. It's similar to example problem number one. In this case, the dip is in the opposite direction. The dip is to the northwest. Otherwise, it's the same problem. All right. So let's do this one and see how it would be done. I've got my overlay on my stereo net. What do I do first? I put north. What do I do next? I trace the primitive grade circle. All right. There. Now I'm ready to go. I read the problem. It says the strike is 0, 020 0 degrees. I mark 0, 020. 0. That's right there. I mark 070. 0. But something's going to... I think something is going to become apparent here. By right arm rule, this in this case, it's 20035, right? And that's because this dips to the northwest. So the dip, the great circle representing this plane, is going to be over this way. And by right arm rule, I have to face really the back azimuth of 020. I have to face 200 for my right arm to point off to the northwest. Well, let's, I guess let's go ahead and put that on. Um, Again, so now I'm going to count in 35 from this side. 10, 20, 35. And that, then, is a 35 degree angle. The dip angle. I need to trace that great circle. Okay. Now, notice something. And let me go ahead, you'll, you'll, re, you'll remember that this, um, this direction right here was 0, 7, 0. But that does not intersect this plane. Well, think about it. It all makes sense. And th that's simply a compass direction. All right? It makes no difference. 0, 7, 0 plus 180 is what? 2, 5, 0. So 250 is the back azimuth of 070. There is no apparent dip, if you will, in the direction 070. You recall that apparent dip is measured from horizontal downward, and that simply can't occur over here because the plane dips over in this direction, or it actually dips off in that direction. It's logically, it's the back azimuth of 070 that is where the apparent dip is going to be. And you'll recognize that there's a symmetry to this from the last example. So 250 is right here. All right? Now we do it as we did it before. That is 10, 28 degrees right there. And so this apparent dip, the answer really should be expressed as, I suppose, 28 degrees, but in the direction 250. And that would be my expression of that answer. Find the apparent dip in a vertical section that trends north 70 east, well, a vertical section that trends north 70 east also trends south 70 west, or in other words, an azimuth of 250. So there you have it.